friends, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome in. My name is Ray. We're back to it. We are back to work in our little, little bakery. Can we do two? No, see, it's like grays out. Uh, I don't think we've done the bronze bread yet. Let's do that. Grab that. Oh, it's going to take quite a bit. Let's change our scoop size up to the largest and get our rye flour. And 1.2 litres of water. 200 of olive oil, excuse me. 20 of yeast. One. 20 of salt. Eight of sugar, five, six, seven, eight, and that bowl is pretty much at capacity. Get that mixing. <laughs> we can't even do bread in that. <laughs> We've got to do buns. I want to do buns so I can show you those. And I want to do muffins so I can show you those. It might just take us a little bit. <laughs> got to just work through these levels, you know? Off. Now, how evenly can I divide this up this time? Unlike last time where it was a little rough, okay? Mini games, they are not my thing. Uh, it is a round bread, yes. Excuse me, a little bit over, thank you. And then you this way. Now I have mentioned before my eldest son is a qualified baker and he does actually work in a supermarket bakery but when he first got into it he always said you know I want to be a bread baker I don't want to get into cakes and pastries and stuff because those are tedious and annoying but he loves the whole thing about just kneading the dough and that sort of stuff. Like he can do the cakes and stuff if he has to eat my Part of being a qualified baker is being able to do the fancy cakes and stuff. But he's so much better at the savoury baking. He can make beautiful pies, beautiful breads. <laughs> and you know, I really look forward to you know, reaching around saying, hey, what have you got? He goes, oh, you've got to try this one. And so we'll try that one. But yeah, there is definitely something satisfying about kneading the bread dough. I will fully admit, like, I'm the kind of person who will play with, like, Play-Doh or clay, just something to keep my hands moving. And I'll just sit there and form it, and all I'll do is knead it. I don't have to do anything else. But, yeah, you know, I guess from a lot of respect, you know, bread dough is much the same. Except you probably don't want to over-knead it. Could be bad. Is that a, is that a possibility? I'm not a baker. I can burn freaking water, I swear. But this is kind of nice knowing in this one, at least I can't burn it all. Send this out for delivery. And close the oven. Live it on time. Nice. Level up. Got a few other bits and pieces now we can order in. Mmm, that bread looks so good, doesn't it? I love these screenshots. This is all coming. This is the third bakery, I believe. Look at all this. It's huge. Spoilers. <laughs> Uh, we will just order all because we went through quite a bit of flour that time. Um, I 
it doesn't make a difference. It really doesn't, but you know. <laughs> oh, okay, we've got a new one here. We've got grandmas who want some bronze bread. But this one here wants cocoa cups. So we're gonna do that. Okay, there's a lot more experience and stuff, but <laughs> it's letting our shoes are muffin forms, which is what I really want to do. So we'll do this. We will grab this. Oh, problem with the forms. See the temperature over there? It says 180 degrees C. That thing has one temperature and one temperature only. So we must be getting pretty close to being able to upgrade stuff. Uh, let's get the basics in here though. They'll burn a little bit. It'll be fine. Ugh. Two. Three. Sugar of 60 grams. So yeah, let's do three of these instead. Milk of 120. Excuse me. Uh, olive oil of 60. Yeast of 24. I'm purposely ignoring the eggs and I'll show you why. Yeast of 24. Uh, 60 of cocoa up here. Now, X says 60 mils. One egg. That was almost a bad crack. But that that's how you do the eggs. 60s and 45s. Be prepared to pull out calculators. And there are times you're not going to get it perfect. And you just kind of have to look with it. So while this is mixing, I'm going to put that down. I'm going to pull out our muffin forms that one there that one there and i'm gonna hold it and it's gonna drop in our little patty pan liners cupcake liners muffin liners whatever you want to call them i grew up calling them patty pan now i'm more likely to call them like cupcake or muffin liners depending on what size i'm making to me a muffin is large and usually savory and a cupcake is smaller and usually sweet <laughs> but yeah, it's not even, this, this is the disappointing thing, it's not even like brown dough. I would say that it's not chocolatey enough, personal opinion. Grab this, grab that and that, on the tray, but yeah, they are going to be burning. This is going to be an issue. So I don't know what I could have done other than not do these in this particular kitchen. But hopefully it'll be all right. I don't have to be in there very long. Yeah, there are no upgrades, so I can't fix it, which annoys me so much. Stop we burn anymore they don't look bad they probably got you know <laughs> little burnt bums but it's fine they'll be a little crispy it's uh, it, it adds the flavor okay it's fine no complaints 97 percent that's fine Let's just do a quick little order. I don't think I need to, to be honest. I think I'm looking okay. Everything's sitting in pretty reasonable levels. So actually, you know what? Let's not. We didn't make that much. Let's just start a new day. Buns! Right, we are going to use that forming thingy. Oh, and look, look. It's going to cost us a thousand to upgrade to tier two, which we'll see tomorrow. It takes overnight for it to be done. Look at it. 
looks great. Okay, wheat flour of 1.4, water of 560, milk of the same, yeast of 56, sugar of 28, That's all of that into there, let it go. And while it's doing its thing, I'm going to pick this board up and put it down. And yeah, we want because we can change the shape so we can go circle, square, or triangle. But yeah, we want the circles. And we've got these out. We might need more. I'm going to hold nine on each. We won't do a couple of batches. Oh, you're done, you're done. Stop. A little overmix. Sorry. So now I'm going to pour that on there. It's only put on a certain amount, so I'm going to end up with that mess. Nothing you can do about that. Put it there. It's going to say, oh, I can make 10. Down. Up. Uh, grab this and then go one two three four five six seven eight nine and number ten there put it down again but how much easier is that right there down up Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't have any more trays, so I'm gonna open this up, get these in, and get them cooking. That takes about 25 seconds, so that's fine. Look at them all! <laughs> we are being productive here. This makes me happy. It's like the little things, you know? Okay, drop all those in there. Like that. I'll just close the oven because, you know, good practice. Uh, Put those there and we will add on the last of our mixture this, this is really smart it says oh okay I've got enough here for eight it's also really good so if you're doing other shapes probably the other machine would be better when we get to it it'll actually say okay I can make different amounts of whatever it is you're asking for Is ridiculous. <laughs> that poor one on that one tray. <sighs> but it's fine. Let me wait. <laughs> so yes, the burnt muffins not too much of a detriment. Yeah. But I, I just wanted to do it. Because muffins, muffins, cupcakes, whatever. Right, pick them up. I think these are the cutest little buns in the world. I don't know if we've got something similar here. Boop. Call for delivery. Just so you know, it doubles the price if you do that. And I, I don't think it's worth it. Penalty of 26%. Maybe it might have been worth it. 
But we leveled up again. So we're getting a lot of different things happening here. Oh my goodness. Spices. You can now make your baking even better by adding an extra spice to it. For each recipe there is a good one which is going to give you extra money and experience after delivering the order and a bad one which will give you a penalty. However, we won't tell you which is good and bad. You'll need to find it for yourself. Discovered spices will be in the recipes book. You can find the spices in jars on a shelf. Good luck in experimenting. Now I didn't try this aspect of the game <laughs> before. These are them here. So we have honey, chili, cardamom, caramel, basil, cinnamon, cloves, dried cranberry, garlic powder, ginger, jam, mascarpone cheese, orange peel, rosemary, and vanilla. Are you going to turn around and say, okay, if I'm making like a chocolate cupcake, maybe the vanilla would be nice in there, or the caramel. Uh, Maybe the breakfast ones would go really well with, I don't know, honey? Maybe a jam? Maybe orange peel? I don't know. There are so many possibilities. This here is our next upgrade as well. It's our oven. Can we... It's our rack oven. We can afford it. Let's do it. Woo. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> but here we can change the temperature up to 220 or down to 180 we can set how long it has to cook for it's great uh, and this thing here i will freely admit is just like the ones in real life it's an absolute pain it gets stuck on anything i'm leaving it in here <laughs> let's have a look around now we have great big silos of our flowers so wholemeal rye and wheat flowers are all here ginormous silos everything else is still here as well and then we have silos of milk olive oil and water great big little thingy here i don't know how soon we'll be able to use that but it's a thing and we have our new mixer with a great big bowl that can hold 15 kilos and somehow when this is full we can still carry it around makes perfect sense right <laughs> now, if I was to do an order, I don't. I don't need to. Good to know. Let's let's try this. Uh, we could do thirty-two breakfast buns, and we still can't select another one because they're both grayed out. To do that, yeah. You know what? Let's do breakfast buns, and we'll try to spice in them, shall we? We can still do this one in the small one. Mm, but I don't know, let's have some fun with it, shall we? Let's do it in this. It's gonna be a little bit of an overkill. So we put this one down here. And we come over here. Ooh. Sorry. We come over here. And we're on wheat flour and we want one six double O. 1.6 kilos of wheat flour, and we say go. Okay. Let me pick this up. <laughs> Little tiny thing in the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> okay, and we put the hose in. And we want six, four, zero of water it does tend to get stuck in the on position and we want milk which is also the 640 so we'll just do that okay Take that out pick this up now yeast we want 64 20 40 60 1 2 3 4 and sugar of 32, no, one, two, and then two of those and one of those. <laughs> and then if I come over here and I put that down, I can say I want it mixing for 
20 seconds. I'm just scrolling this on my mouse. And then I'm gonna hit go. Neat, huh? Alright, we're gonna use our form again. Of course we've got that there. Problem is I wish we could use this part of it. Might be able to put stuff there. We do have extra bowls here now as well, so I think eventually we'll be able to do maybe three different types, which would be very cool. You're done. See! I didn't need to stop it. There is no overmixing. Uh, <laughs> it's the little things, people. Little things get Ray very excited. I'm going to put that back there. Put that in. Little tiny buns. Uh, where are my racks? Got one here. Um, we're, kind of, we're making 32, so we're probably going to need a few of them. So let's bring these up and put them out here. This thing here can also be dragged around. I'm not going to do it. Anything in this game that can be dragged around is a pain. Well, let me assure you. Okay, let's grab this. So it's just like anything that has like the wheels in real life, they get stuck and everything else, I guess. It's a little bit too realistic in that respect. <laughs> okay. Boop. And back. Down. Up. You there, and uh, oh, yes. See, a little bit overkill using the big one, but come on, we had to, right? <laughs> Love it. Love it so much. Last little bit to go, because we're now at, yeah, 30. And we're just going to make two more. How sad. <laughs> the poor little things. And we can hang that back up there. Then yeah, this is where you'd be moving things around normally, taking things to where you need them to go and all that sort of fun stuff. So these get cooked at 200 degrees for about 25 seconds. But the good thing is now we can really load up the oven. We have one, two, one, two, three, four, five racks we can shove in here. So lots of space. And you can see even though it holds five, we've got Oh no, wait, I was just gonna say we've got extras, but no we don't. One, two, three, four, and there's our fifth over there. I'm gonna turn around and set this for 25 seconds. And hit close. Isn't it neat? <laughs> I'm gonna walk away. I'm actually gonna grab this to make life a little bit easier. Oh, I forgot to do the orange. I'm just gonna drop that down there. I'm gonna wait for this thing to open. I'm just dropping trays on the ground. I know, it's really bad. I want to grab. Be very careful what you're grabbing. Oops. Call for delivery. Confirm. 
bit of a delay. But how much fun was that? <laughs> oh look, we're gonna get a dough divider and a bread rounder soon. Oh, it's gonna cause such a mess. Oh, all of a sudden it's all cleaned up. If I had moved this, it would be where I left it. Uh, same with the rack, it would have been wherever I left it. But what do you think? We're now in our brand new bakery. It's amazing, it's huge. We can do so much more things. There's more racks. One, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven. I do we do have extra? Ah, huh, I completely missed them. So we have extra things we can do. There's so much more to come. I believe our new equipment may end up over here when we get it next time. But yeah, this is our second bakery. This is great. We're definitely getting into larger orders, which is why we're getting that larger thing. I'm going to try to use it as much as possible. <laughs> but that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, let me know, like you've seen some of the recipes by now, if there's anything you think I should try. But yeah, I think for the next few episodes I'll try a few on my own, and then we'll see how we go from there. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!